What's up everyone, Lexi Gavin Mather here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is the World Series of Poker $400 Colossus event. This is one of the craziest, busiest tournaments of the entire year in the world. Like so many people, I don't even know how many people started, but there are so many people waiting. It's a good tournament, uh, really good value, $400 buy-in, and first place is like around half a million, maybe more this year because they're breaking record numbers. Anyway, start with 40,000 chips, 40 minute levels, let's hop into it. So many people. Where are we? What are we doing? This is Lisa, everyone. Lisa Pickel, she's a crusher. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm the <laughs> Where the heck is 584? Oh, it probably is all the way on the other side. <laughs> you guys. This is fun. He's a good friend of mine from New York. Owns a really amazing Italian restaurant. Thanks. What's it called? Posto Pazzo. Yeah, that's it. Where's it at? It's in Huntington. Huntington? Huntington. All right. How are you doing? How are you doing, ladies? Uh, no. Not this. Yeah. Yeah, I like to take a picture. I just got here. So I played yesterday. I got cooler in the first freaking five minutes on the turbo. And this is going on now. Just well, you haven't lost any chips yet. No. Yeah. No. You haven't played bad, so I feel good about my play so far. Nice meeting you. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Started yet? There's already 5,200 players, and re-entry period is open for a while. I think till like eight o'clock. That's crazy. How are we today, Bobby boy? Oh, we're just we, more Bob. We, uh, <laughs> we're just waiting for the tournament to start. By the way, it was supposed to start at 10, and it's already like 11 something. Yeah, they're, but let's they're be a little honest. behind because there's so many players. So many players. So many. This is an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, the WSOP does an amazing job. You know, dealing with all of these people, but handling, coordinating. But it's really easy to dump on them, and a lot of people yeah. are real negative. Yeah. But hey, you should be in my world. You should be losing, and then having your wife vlog it. <laughs> huh? How about that? Tens of thousands of people come into the World Series poker a day. Hundreds of. Hundreds of thousands. No, not no, a well, day. not a day. <laughs> I mean, just the way that they facilitate this whole series. Is right really, now, really this amazing. already has fifty-three. I know. I already said that. Yeah. Tell them something they don't know. So last night I played a satellite into, I was trying to win a seat into the 50K PLO. And my lovely wife came up and said very encouraging words to me. She said, what are you doing? You're not good at PLO. I That's said, exactly I, what you did. I, 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 I'm, I didn't say that. I said, yes, you did. You might not have a skill edge in a 50K PLO That's not tournament. what you said. A $15,000 buy-in PLO tournament. No. The best tournament players in the world. No. But, baby, okay, let's talk about the fact that we're matching. We are wearing the same thing. Because we are I'm adorable. fat, I wear black. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I am a poker coach, and I do have a course. Visit LexiGavinMather.com for free poker training. I also have a book coming out, so I'll link that below as well. Go check that out. Okay, this is Bobby Boy in action doing the Bob Cam. This is behind the scenes right, so, of Bob Cam. Excuse Guys, me. Hashtag more Bob. What is your relationship? <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. No spoilers. All right, we are on break and. I have about half starting stack. <laughs> uh, I was involved in a situation in a four bet pot with a pair of fours. We're gonna talk about that hand, but yeah, it's a colossal 
shit show. <laughs> Alright, why am I going to your table? What's your update, Bobby Boy? I have twice starting stack because I'm with my people. You're you have 80k? Uh, I call. Yeah, he's he's an exaggerator. <laughs> All right. That's uh, what happens when you turn 40. I'm 42. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's something you don't see very often. Someone brushing their teeth. Yeah. Brushing his teeth. Interesting. And kind of gross. about that uh, hand that I just played. So the blinds were 300, 500, 500. I opened to ace, 10 of diamonds and early position to 1300. Now keep in mind that the table has been pretty frustrated with me. I showed down a few bluffs and yeah, they just think that I'm like crazy, but um, pretty balanced actually. So I opened ace, 10 of diamonds and early position to 1300. The small blind who is definitely tilted at me, I showed him a big bluff. Uh, called and the big blind called. The flop is ace of spades, king of diamonds, seven of diamonds. So I have top pair and then up flush draw. Small blind leads out for 1K. The big blind folds and I call. The turn is the four of clubs. He now checks and I definitely think I should be betting for value. You know, in the event I do hit my flush, uh, I've created a big, bigger pot. So I bet 7K and he calls. The river's the jack of diamonds. So now I've hit my nut flush. And it also brings in some like two pairs, two pair combos he can have, like ace jack, king jack, things like that. Um, so because he's been pretty like tilted and I showed him a big bluff, I decided to overbet here. This is a good spot for an overbet. So I bet 20,000 and he snap calls with five poor diamonds. So I did flush over flush him, but um, yeah, just like one of those good spots for an overbet. So yeah, doing pretty good. Uh, let's, I'd like to talk about another hand, but I think I'm about to be, no, we're good. All right, let's talk about another hand really quick. <laughs> um, so this hand I didn't play too well. Uh, it was 200, 300, 300. The hijack raises to 800. I three bet to 2,800 with five four of hearts. He min click four bets it back to like 6,200. Like he like min raises back to 6,200. I definitely call. I think there's a spot where getting good, good price. We're really deep. We, it was like the early level. So, you know, very deep effective stacks. Um, and I'm in position, so I call. The flop is king of hearts, four of spades, three of hearts. So I have a pair and a five high flush draw. Uh, it goes check, and I decide to check back. The turn is the two of clubs. Uh, he bets 8K now. I definitely don't think I can fold, so I call. The river is the eight of spades, and he now checks, and I think that like I should be turning my hand into a bluff here. I don't know, you know, if my pair of force is gonna be good, and like in the event, he just decided to four bet with like, East jack or something, then you know, I'm gonna win. So I bet 12K and he calls a pocket aces, so that did not work out. But anyway, those are two interesting hands that I played. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and yeah, let's get back to it. All right, break time for me. I'm on an extended break. <laughs> he is, but are but, you gonna rebuy? Uh, I got another ticket. Oh, my ah, God. can you believe got that? The golden That's my. I am so good at the ATM machine. I win every time. Bob just came over to my table after he busted. No, this is what happened. You came out and go, oh, what are you going to do? And I said, oh, I think I'm going to try fentanyl. What do you think I'm going to do? That's not okay. All the cool kids are doing it. Jesus. I want to do that zombie thing where you just bend over. It looks fun. Babe, it's yeah. not okay. It's not okay. Fentanyl is terrible. Just don't do drugs. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I played a, a big hand where I made a big bluff and the blog, the blogger got it. So I'm going to read you the blog and you guys can let me know what you think. Bob goes to me. I got, I had ace 10. The flop was 10, seven, three. I got it all in for the last of it and he had pocket seven. Okay. And I said, 
how could you possibly want my input I if don't I don't input. know the action Maybe or I don't just want know empathy. the stack sizes? Maybe All sympathy. he wants is to complain. You can't. Ever. So how he cold wants. Uh, he wants. Oh, <laughs> so cold. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. No, he just wants like some like oh it's okay. Yeah, you're like it's this ten to New York seven. Tough girl. What about me? Hey, tough girl. <laughs> Honey, no crying in poker. Name that movie. Decisions, decisions. What's it gonna be, Mr. Mather? Salad. Salad, I call. Guys, if you could choose which one, what would it be? I think I'd go with this, because it looks chocolatey. I would go for that one. You'd go for that one? What even is that? That looks like not it's good. It's a bear claw? Not that I know. It looks good. All right, guys, so listen to this bluff that I played on break. I'm gonna read you. The blog, the blog. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. The headline is just this one time. All right, the blinds were 300, 500, 500. A player in middle position raises to 1,000 and was called by the player directly to his left. I'm gonna be all dramatic when I read this. Lexi Gavin Mather then raised to an even 5,000 from the big blind. Uh, I definitely like this spot as a uh, three bet for value. And if they both fold that, that's when, whatever, okay. The initial raise are called and the player in between folded. Heads up, they saw a flop of king of clubs, three of hearts, seven of clubs. This time, Gavin Mather downsized to 3,600 and was called yet again. The turn brought the six of hearts and she fired for a larger 12,500. At this point in the hand, the gentleman in the middle position asked Gavin Mather, do you have a big hand? Gavin Mather didn't offer any information despite maintaining a friendly demeanor. All right, said her opponent as he picked up his hand and swished two queens back and forth with, before throwing them in the muck. I fold my pair of queens to you. Lexi Gavin Mather then went on to say, okay, well, just because poker news is here, I and showed her ace of clubs, queen of hearts, which is just ace high, to the table going to say that was my only bluff of the day. Her table mates chimed in and they weren't so sure of that and continued to play on. <laughs> So, oh, what did you get? Apple fritter. Ah. Oh. oh my god. Yum. I don't know why I can't. Let me know your thoughts on that ham. I don't know why I can't lose weight. <laughs> Chubby Tucker's anonymous. I think I have a thyroid problem. <laughs> Try some fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't make a fentanyl Just joke. Don't oh, make a fentanyl joke. Ugh. Oh my god. I had a shit all in on the turn. I didn't think, I didn't, no, I didn't think I was that Nice hand. I didn't think she had kings. Do you have me? Um, Count, please. It's close. It is like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have me. What? 56. Nice Okay, that was so freaking tilting. I will talk about that hand in a little bit. I'm gonna rebuy, but it's break time and we've decided to come to the arcade on break at the horseshoe to let out some steam. So you that love I, me what? I, do, I don't right now. Can you love me how much? <sighs> I got the I'm money so card. Look at this, we have five dollars right here. You guys, that was such a gross hand. But anyway, let's kick Bob's ass in some games and then I'll talk about the hand. Oh, come on. What was your score? 20?
When I was a kid, I used to be afraid of this one because I didn't like clowns. My childhood is flashing before my eyes. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Okay. Get those clowns, baby. Get it. You can do better than that, Bobby boy. That's not very good. Go for the middle. Zero. Oh, you lost. But you're cute. Is the tilt on? Yes. Yeah. It is. It is. I feel like I can read by now. <laughs> I'm glad that helps. When I get upset after I get tilt, I go to the strip club and I throw dollar bills at the strip Yeah, club. no, he doesn't. He likes to pretend he's this like bad, like rowdy husband, but he's not. He's I've been just to a strip club once. With, with uh, a long, long time ago. A long time ago. Back when they stripped When his mom quarters. worked there. <laughs> Mom's Just dead. kidding. Just Why kidding, Barbara. I love you. She's In dead. heaven. <laughs> Alright, we're on the pear side. Which means we don't get to be near Bobby Boy, but hi Dan. Dan Shack. Such a nice guy. I love him. Anyway, we're here. Probably gonna have to wait on a very long line to re-enter, but at least we get the nice room. Wow, we might be running good. I don't see a line. In the classes? That's crazy. By the way, this event so far got 7,200 players. Registration is still open and it's just the first flight. There's 3,500 players left. So hopefully we get right in. That'd be great. Wow, we got right in. 155. That's where we're going. Let's get it. Hi, Jason. What's Hello. up, lady? Hey. Hello. Best floor man ever. <laughs> All right. That's the first time I heard of more Lexi. You guys are always shouting more Bob. I like that. Hashtag more Lexi. Let's, let's hear more of that. <laughs> Hello. Okay, really quickly, let's talk about my bust out hand in the last bullet because <laughs> I had piles. Blinds were 800, 1600, 1600. Middle position raises to 5K. I three bet pocket kings. I have king of diamonds, king of spades to 13,500. He thinks for a little bit and then calls the flops. Nine of spades, five of clubs, three of hearts. So like such a great flop for our hands. Such a great flop, not worried about anything. I see bet 10K into about 30K. So about a third pot and he calls. The turn is the two of clubs bringing in a flush draw and he snap shoves for 60K. I snap call and he shows ace jack of clubs. So the river is a four of hearts and he rivered a straight. <sighs> I mean, he had a lot of outs, so it's like not that bad, but just like the, like the whole hand was weird. Like how he raised a 5K pre-flop and then just like the line is just, I don't know. I think he should have folded the flop, but whatever. Anyway, that's it. Let's uh, run it up in this board. Meanwhile, at Bob's table. Oh, oh. Oh, my <laughs> I like that hand. I think that's a decent flop. Here I am, losing with the best hand, and he's flopping quad aces. <laughs> We're happy for him. It'd be nice if he won this. I I'd take second of Bob, for sure. I mean, I'd rather win, but we definitely want Bob to win too. Um. for me.
in the class. 